Hello, I'm Philippa Turnbull from the Cool Work Company. Georgie, Frankie and I are just pinning out the uh, Wordsworth Cuckoo, which has just come straight off the ring frame. Uh, we don't pre-wash our linen at all, and we certainly never go near it with an iron. And instead, we use a process called blocking. So what we've done is we've uh, put the pins at 45 degrees away from the design, all the way around on a board. Now, Georgie, where did we get this plastic? The plastic is a recycled bin bag, this one, and any recycled plastic will work, and we used it on a cork board this okay. time. And uh, the alternative to using a board like this, which you can buy from any stationers quite cheaply, is to use some insulating board, and this was just an offcut. Mm -hmm. And you can buy this in, in massive sizes, or you can put them together and jam them together if you're blocking a very, very large piece. Mm -hmm. So, if you'd like to get going, one of you, <laughs> I don't know if I... Uh... We'll take turns. <laughs> so, what we're doing here is we're working all around the edges and across the face of the design and making sure that you work absolutely to the edge because if you leave any areas with a little bit of dry fabric, you'll find that the rather nasty water line creeps into the uh, fabric and then you'll never, ever get rid of that. So, we're using plastic-headed... Um, pins, those are known as quilting pins in the UK, and uh, stainless steel. They're stainless steel, aren't they? Rust proof, yeah. and that's the main thing, and you certainly don't want to have any injuries. So Frankie's had a go over this, and if you pass it across yeah. to Georgie for another go, it's quite hard work. Um, and we're using um, bottled filtered water. Um, sometimes you can trust the water out of your tap if you've got a filter on it, but I would always test it on a bit of fabric first. And you can only use this method with Appleton's <laughs> wools. And uh, if you've added any extra silks or anything like that, you must do a colour test on them first. Now we're just checking to see that it's absolutely soaked because you really don't want to underwet. And I always go around the very edges just with a bit more water to check these little areas and also over the middle and slide the water underneath these dense parts where the mm -hmm. long and short soft shading has been. If you tip the, um, if you just lift that Frankie for me, that's mm -hmm. um, you can see that the water running underneath will soak the linen. Can you see that travelling mm. behind? So it's wet enough now. And we just leave it now for three days in a normal house temperature and that will dry completely. But don't be tempted to undo, the, to undo it and test because really you do want to leave it that entire time. So we're now we're going to just unpin the piece that Frankie stitched. Uh, was it your first or second? Uh, second, this one. Second one. And the first one she did blocked beautifully, but this one has come off, come away, and it's just slightly ruckled here. Mm. So um, I think there has been a bit of a problem there, Frankie. Yeah, I I don't get it tight enough in the frame. I don't think. Right. I would now re-block that yeah. and pin it out again um, and just compare it with this one. If you just move that out of the way now. This is one that uh, it has been blocked properly and it's been stitched by somebody a bit more experienced yeah. and uh, we blocked it for her. She didn't want to block it herself and you just feel that quality there. It's, different. it's, it's fabulous. So, um, mm. so that's what we need to do. Just make sure that it's really tight on your frame throughout the stitching process mm -hmm. and then block it. Never ever iron it okay. and, uh, and we'll just pin it out again, have yeah. another go and get it a bit tighter and this time we'll be a little bit stronger when we block it mm -hmm. and that should come out. 